Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, again, this is a general reading, so please do know that it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every can Capricorns out there. <laughs> Just keep that in mind as we go along. So the month of June, we have a lot of retrogrades happening in the skies. And even though, you know, this is a card reading and sometimes, you know, the effects of the astrological alignments actually plays a role on how things are manifesting, you know, even in the reading, it gives us like a glimpse on why things are happening the way they are and all those kinds of things. But um, yeah, a lot of retrogrades is occurring for a lot of Capricorns out there. And, you know, this is going to be making you guys a lot more internal and reflective. And we do have the first card here is the world card. And usually the world is a, a very optimistic kind of a card wherein you're seeing a lot of possibilities in your life now if we are going to be comparing this with the energies that are surrounding the month of june and the late may 2020 this can also be manifesting in a way wherein maybe you have encountered a lot of ups and downs in your life especially in terms of your relationships as well so there could be some form of challenge that you may have felt and encountered in the past this can be you know um it's it's basically a very literal sense wherein you're really taking a, a a big look on on what has been going on with your life with your own world as a whole it is being crossed over by the moon card so this is you know giving us more significance that maybe you are more reflective than ever this month of june you could be thinking about how to achieve your goals or if maybe you have already achieved them um, what are the things that you have learned uh, through the past few months all those kinds of things might be coming up are you happy in your life all those kinds of things as well now we do have the six of cups at the, as the foundation of the reading with the cheerfulness and the nine spades now there is a possibility that maybe you're thinking about some form of fallouts um, with some people in your life maybe they are people that you are close to that you really care about all those kinds of things um, especially with you know you know being reflective maybe there were certain actions in the past that has led um, to various situations in terms of your relationship and maybe you are being reflective on uh on how to work on the on those relationships because i kind of feel that for a lot of capricorns there's going to be a situation wherein you might need to confront and deal with the relationships more on fixing them trying to clear out misunderstandings because believe me there will be misunderstandings um, yeah, especially, you know, relationship that you have with people that are stagnating, not progressing, maybe you need to work around them and revitalize that relationship or maybe create opportunities for that rela relationship to prosper and i'm talking about different kinds of relationship here it could be of course a love and romantic relationship but um it is also possible that it could be relationships that you have with your family or um relationships that you have with your friends um, and other acquaintances as well there is a situation here wherein you want things to change and you know you are like a part of you feels ready to move forward with life you know you have the fool at the top of the deck this is about you taking a leap of faith maybe you are at the point wherein you keep thinking and thinking and nothing is really happening with you thinking and contemplating on things and it could be a scenario wherein you know um hoping wishing is not really that enough and maybe you are at the point of your life wherein you know yourself that 
you need to take action there is some form of action and decisive situation that you might need to take or the relationship needs to take for things to actually move forward i kind of feel that you know whatever is unbalanced in your relationship you are going to rebalance that even if you need to to take a stand um, in terms of communication you know i kind of feel that we have the three of spades here the six of pentacles we're in you know it's the scales you know what is not balanced unbalanced what is fair and not fair and we have the folk card even to a point wherein you might be like an enemy of some kind or or maybe you might be seen in a negative light you know you will do something about it so that there is going to be some form of fairness and balance in terms of um, relationships itself this could be a situation wherein you know um, something drastic can occur in terms of certain relationships in your life so basically what i'm trying to say is um, the month of june even though there's a lot of reflection going on there's also going to be a lot of activities for you guys it's just that it's not it's probably not going to happen in a very harmonious way um i don't mean to say that it's going to be negative it's just that it's a bit more chaotic it, it could be disruptive or it could be a little bit more hassle it's like you know you're working on a project and you cannot expect the project to go very smoothly you need to you know um do a lot of hard work so i would say that you know to have the balance in the relationship you need to go through some form of struggles some form of issues um you know and you need to sort all of those out so that you can have the balance that you need in the relationship to give you a more satisfying outcome so it does again i will repeat it does not mean it's going to be negative uh, I honestly don't see it that way. It's just that it's going to be um, harder to deal with because you need to put in some form of work and hard work and to have the courage to actually, you know, um, to stand by your own belief, all those kinds of things. And I kind of feel that you are Capricorn. So you will have, you know, um you will have the the willingness to actually work things out to to do the work even if you need to reset everything to redo everything from scratch you have this kind of aura and attitude and this is what you are i feel this is the conclusion that you will end up doing so again there could be new beginnings for the month of june definitely new beginnings that you might be initiating or other persons going to be initiating you know something is definitely going to you know spark things up to for things to actually move forward in your life this could be a time of not fun and games but this is a time for you to progress to move forward and to do something productive in the relationship so this is not about chilling and you know relaxing you know just how we expect retrogrades to be you know we expect retrogrades to not do anything but truth be told retrogrades actually do a lot of things you know maybe in a very internal level psychological level for some people but for for people like you guys you will see some form of progression in your life it's just that it's going to be happening in a very i guess troublesome way uh, but it's definitely a step forward so for me it is like that also for some of you guys it's like it's going to be a situation wherein you are wishing for something to happen in your life but at the same time there are a lot of fears so most of the time it's going to be a battle of you know trying to 
trying to be more confident trying to be more bold and really having the push to believe in yourself to believe in the relationship and to believe that you can actually move forward with certain things in your life i feel that you know some form of healing can really take place we do have the queen of cups at the end of the reading wherein you know it can be very healing very emotional we also have the doctor over here so it's like you know some form of relationships can be repaired at this time as well it may happen in a very sudden way in a very in a way wherein you also don't expect things to be um, it could be something you will initiate or it could be something that's sudden out of the blue kind of thing but as long as you have the willingness to persevere I believe that you know you can actually repair some form of relationships and some form of emotional healing can occur with your life as well um, we also have here Venus in the sign of Pisces this was actually cancer earlier so where is that I saw cancer earlier yeah I probably moved that <laughs> unconsciously but we can take a look on the Pisces area and the cancer area of this dice just in case but we do have Venus in the fifth house so Venus is all about our love desires what makes us happy what what actually um, give us some form of fulfillment in life and sometimes you know it has a lot to do with our heart as well and the cancer area is where you know mercury um is going to is it it is right now mercury is in cancer right now and it's going to move on retrograde by mid month of june so i feel that during this time maybe there could be answers that you will take or some form of movement can really occur for you since it is a mercury retrograde i'm not gonna be surprised if you know um, dealing with past events past issues can come up i'm not necessarily talking about past people in your life but i'm talking about you know past issues that needs to be sorted out that needs to be fixed that needs to be talked about basically is what i'm i'm getting here also the fifth house is what brings us joy it's our love life it's um past lovers you know i'm saying past because of the of the pisces and cancer energy but it's basically you know our boyfriends girlfriends all those kinds of things your your sweetheart childhood sweetheart all those kinds of stuff what brings you joy might be coming up as well so um yeah and this is also a time wherein maybe you know you're thinking about you know if you are already married or have a, a child already this could have something to do with your child as well you know your relationship with your child could be uh, a very significant factor as well because yes this is a love reading but again it's not restricted to a love setup uh, i mean in a romantic um and sexual manner it could be something to do with your your kid all those kinds of things so um yeah communication contracts and changes in relationship can definitely happen and it can happen in a very progressive level it says here that we do have some form of frustration in the past but um slowly but surely things are actually moving forward to a better light to a better future for you guys so it's actually a very positive reading so just know that you know you might need to undergo some form of challenge in terms of communication but this is the time for you to persevere and work hard for it and things will be very good you know it will be setting down it, it is it is the time to to face some form of truth in terms of relationships that you have made that you are gonna make so that you know you will be more open to the opportunities and success that is out there for you basically so um yeah this is my reading for you guys capricorn out there again if you do want a more personal specific readings that is talking about your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye